so we're here with a, another episode uh, or video of shelter and home, stay in place training of Krav Maga. Uh, we're gonna look at a little more advanced technique. We're gonna look at overhead stick. Uh, so we're gonna break this down for you. Obviously we're living in space, we have a small room here, so uh, we can't necessarily drive a person back particularly far, which you only want to do. Um, we can't sort of swing sticks too, uh, too much widely around. Um, but we'll work with this and, and break it down for you. So let's talk about uh, different tools you can use if you don't have the sticks you normally have training and Krav Maga. If you don't have the screaming sticks, we have playing like class, walking stick or a cane works pretty good. Back up, umbrella, which everyone should have. Next, a manly carp or two, that also will do. If nothing else works, you have nothing. Kitchen tool, like a tong, or a spatula. Same distance, the uh, same principle still applies. Try range. All right, so we'll use an umbrella. Um, it's a household object, you know, most everyone has. So let's talk about uh, the principles of this technique. So first and foremost, let's talk about the range this attack's coming from. So if she's using this uh, tool, what she's doing is striking me in the skull with like a last of her weapon. This is what she's trying to smash in is my head. So again, nice and light. Boom, that's what I'm worried about. So that's the distance I should be working in no closer. So first thing I want to do, of course, is bring my hands up, my chin nice and tough. This person has some sort of weapon that they're attacking me with. Going to build a good fighting stance, light on my feet. As this one starts to come towards me, first thing I have to build is a ram, and I get my head behind that ram. All this to slide down the side of my body. So again, one more time. She swings, boom, ram goes out. One more time. Oh, ramp goes out. Now, of course, I want to start thinking about what is my contact? What is my combative and cross? And I'm going to add that in. So both come out. Boom! So I have this big, huge contact. Now, obviously, I can't smash her face in, push her back against this wall, which we normally want to do. But I can get in that good clinch position. From here, groin kicks, knees, hammer fist to the skull. Anything that starts to break this person down, damage them, give them less control with that weapon. As I do that, I want to think about working my hand back to the back end of whatever this thing is, the handle of this umbrella. Now, once they're broken down, I can take my hand here, break that grip, so I'm going to drive a nice chopping elbow across, break that grip, recoil with a big, huge side hammer fist, gain control of whatever this weapon was they're attacking me with, either attack them back, gain distance, gain space, get out of this fight. All right, now from the other side, and again, so of course, same thing. My hands are up, check the distance. Boom, that's what we're worried about. Build my ramp, first and foremost. Second, have the strike. Bam, big through strike. Groin kicks, knees, hammer fists, same things that's breaking this person out. Work my way down, so let's talk about a different takeaway. Now I take this hand, slide to the back of this weapon, get some control in it, twist my whole body violently, breaking this grip, getting hold of the weapon, following up with additional combat. Right, so, we're using this training at home. If you have a party, you have a stick, we talked about some uh, different ways you can do this, but you can also use it by, your, by yourself. If you don't have anyone to work with, you're going to work on that good fighting stance, getting your movement, imagining the distance, imagining where it's coming in, building that nice strong ramp and your head tucked behind it, adding in your big burst of combat, boom, getting in both to launch quickly, move, 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 boom, go both get in, and then finish it off. Move, move, find your range, bam, boom. Boom, fire those knees up, hammer fist, trace, you take away with the forearm, twist the body, gain control of that weapon, use your kicks, find your distance. All this you can do on your own, at your own time, your pace, get your heart rate up, practice your principles, practice your technique, work on your vision and timing in your own, in your own mind, seeing these things play out. All right, so, most important though, make sure you're staying indoors, make sure you're staying safe, Make sure you're washing your hands all the time, nice and clean, and you're keeping your training going on. You do a lot of this training, again, without a partner, with no equipment, keeping things working. All right, thank you all very much. Stay safe, nice and tall, and heat up.